What are some tips to directors who are working with A-list talent for the first time? Well, generally with actors, you just have to remember they're putting themselves out there. They're exposing yourself. The first time I was on a set, I was so preoccupied, worried about the camera and all this other stuff. And my producer was Jack Carpio, my roommate at the time, was like, you gotta tell, tell them they were good, tell them they were great. I'm like, and I've never looked back from that since. Um, so in general, actors have to be coddled and told how they're doing and you have to put all your attention to them. With an A-list actor, even more so. <laughs> it's like they're, they're putting themselves out there and, and, and you just have to be attentive when a, when, a, when a take ends, it's like, be ready to give them a response. They're professionals and you have to be professional and your job is to give them feedback. Um, so it's easy to be distracted, especially if it's like your first movie, because you have so much going on in your head. And I'm sure a really good actor will realize that, but you're gonna get a lot better performance out of your actors if you're there for them right after with a thought, compliment them on what's good, and then tell them what you want to try different. I usually don't go, that wasn't good. I would usually say, that was good. Let's try one that's more this, you know, or, you know. Um, and with an A-list actor, if they say they want to try something that you don't want them to do, I think you should probably let them have their take and not make it feel like, all right, you could do yours, but I'm never going to use it. <laughs> you can be like, okay, cool, yeah, try one. You're like, so it's just about being positive and, and being there every step of the way and letting them know that you're, super focused on them um, when they're doing their thing. Have you always been a people person? You seem like you just kind of know you have like a high emotional intelligence. Uh, yeah, I've definitely been a people person. I also think I'm pretty in tune. I think I'm sensitive to people. I can sit and watch people. And I think it's the part that's good about directing because a lot of subtle things people do. I'll watch like a couple sitting on the couch and I'm just bored somewhere and I'll be like, Okay, she's mad at him about something he did. Okay, no, no. And I can kind of just read body language pretty good. Uh, and I guess in that way I can sense when somebody's upset and it's easy. It's pretty easy for me to, to turn things around by just being sensitive to people. I mean, I'm sure I'm not, I miss stuff. I don't want to be so, that's the other thing. Don't be so full of yourself that you think you always know the right thing. It's a combination of the both. But yeah, I, I definitely have had that gift somehow. Do you think it's also coming from a large family where you were around, I mean, you have a lot of brothers and sisters? or I uh, definitely have a lot of brothers. Uh, sorry, I have three sisters. I'm the baby. Oh, I'm sure nice. that's part of it. Um, Italian family, very emotional. Everybody doesn't hold back. We stab from the front, not the back, like you said about New Yorkers. Um, <laughs> but yeah, everybody says it like it is. Um, I was always pretty sensitive. I cried pretty easily. Um, uh, so I think that sensitivity is just part i mean I, I feel like sometimes i feel like everything i became was to become a filmmaker i like to think that way i'm like if i was born in a different era i'm not sure what i would be doing because <laughs> the technology you need to, to in filmmaking and it all it all fits together for what i'm good at i think